So welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed 2, and the last time I get to say that, unfortunately. This time, we're going to be finishing the game in its entirety. But first, before we redo the final mission, we have one last Assassin Tomb to take care of. Um, I don't know if this is specific to the Ezio collection, or if it was just a side thing they added way later on, but... At least when I played this game on the PS3 version, I do not remember this being a thing. So, we're going to be taking care of the Auditore tomb. Now, there is no require there's no requirement to check this place out. Um, this just gives some backstory and money at the very beginning. Explore the Auditore family crypt. So yeah, what I meant by lore is this. This bit gives backstory on how the Auditore assassin family began. A.K.A. through Ezio's great-great-grandfather. Because um, if you remember at the beginning where Mario was mentioning that his great-grandfather built this place. This, all of the lore in here is based off of that. Um, what am I doing? Um, wait, how the crap do you get up there? There we go. Um, I'm not going to read it all, but I will put them on screen so that you guys can read it. But the gist of it is that um, Ezio's great-great-grandfather originated from Spain. And as he was uh, doing stuff in Spain, his father, and a hooded man, basically introduced him to the Assassin Order, and he joined because of that. Um, before that, he met the love of his life, who was very young at the time, and... Yeah, basically he was just a normal dude, and then he got accepted into the Assassin Order. After which, uh, I gotta make sure I'm going the right way. <laughs> After which, uh, he was assigned under a uh, mentor. Uh, that was stupid. I'm trying to, like, explain this as I'm jumping around, and it's not going well. He was taken under... A mentor's wing and as they were um, one of their assignments was taking the codex yeah the same codex that Ezio was going after oh I didn't even see this here there you go um actually I need to show more of that oh oh wait there we go sorry about that there you go um but as they were bringing the codex out of Spain um, the mentor died so Ezio's great-great-grandfather went back to his father to explain the situation and they basically concluded that the Templars have come back and they murdered the uh, assassin mentor. So, after which his father sent him out to uh, outside of Spain. They got, uh, with him and his family, I should say, uh, the, the great-grandfather, his son, and his wife. And they got attacked by pirates as they were um, taking voyage on over to wherever they were taking the Codex. In short, the wife got raped and then th uh, thrown overboard, while his son and the dad also got thrown overboard. Only the son and the father uh, survived, unfortunately. Um, I am being stupid. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um... After which, they make it to uh, Italy, Florence, um, and when he tried to get back to his father to thank him for all the, you know, because his, his father basically gave him his bank account, so he had access to a ton of money. Um, when he went back to try to thank him, his dad was already dead, so they establish a new name of their family. What the balls is happening here? Um, they establish a new name named Auditore, since it sounded uh, like nobles men in Italy, and they got accepted into the noble family, and uh, the uh, the dad and the son vowed to get revenge for their, uh, well, mother slash wife, and uh, keep the uh, assassin order going. So yeah, it, that's the gist of it. It's actually kind of a cool thing, because uh, they don't talk about... Um, Ezio's great-great-grandfather at all, which is kind of sad. So anyway, you want to ignore that and go over here, I think. Uh, jump over here. There we go. Booyah. 
but uh, if I left anything out, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just trying to make a quick uh, recap of it all. You can find this online. Uh, hell, that's where I found it. Um, oh, there we go. Um, that's where I looked it up, because I did look at this before um, recording this, simply because this is going to be a very long video, because I'm taking care of the last mission as well. But, um... So I just wanted to make this a quick little jaunt through here. And besides, it's not required for anything. It's mostly just for war. And I think it's kind of cool. I never learned any of this stuff until I looked it up. So thank you, random man who uploaded this uh, little guide of the Auditore tomb like seven years ago. <laughs> anyway, here's more. There you go. And as I said, you can pause and read it if you'd like, but what I said was ba uh, a basic recap, so. Yeah. And this is pretty much a penultimate uh, tomb. It's There's no enemies in here, thankfully. I would, wouldn't see how there would be any enemies in here. Um, but it takes, okay. It takes everything you learned, at least I hope you learned, um, throughout all the other tombs when it comes to parkour, I should say, and combines it all into one thing. So, let's, uh, reset this. Um, is it? What? Wait. There we go. But, yeah. I kind of wish it was a required thing, though. Like, you have to have a secret, um, tomb seal or something like that, because there's really no other point of this place besides that. Whoa, 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 Ezio. Cool it, buddy. I don't like that camera angle. Just run through here. Boom. And last one. Yep. To the auditory that reads this, remember that you are not or not a nobleman. You are one of the you're not one of the deceivers. You are one of the people. So yeah, an ancient assassin. Well, ancient in our eyes. Uh, a little more, a little more recent in Ezio's eyes. Then again, was his great, great grandfather. Which, at this time, it was lucky if you if you even had your grandfather around. Seriously. Anyway, grab all these chests. All this just gives you money. There's no special weapon or anything like that. I kind of wish there was like a special outfit or something that you could have gotten from this. Like maybe his great great uh, great great grandfather's assassin attire or something like that. But nope. It's just money. I mean, granted, his great-great-grandfather was rich, considering he built this villa. But anyway, family crypt explored. Alyup. Back outside. Where do we pop out of, actually? Oh, why? Oh, that's a terrible exit spot. What the hell is that? I mean, I guess that gives a reason of why this is here. Um... There's actually more reason for that, why that's there, but that, we won't get into that until the second game. I'm going to meet you guys over by uh, the Monte Regione, or, well, the the marketplace. I'll see you in a second. Alright, back over in Monte Regione. This is the final reminder to get anything you still need. Now, if you don't have all the co uh, codex pages, well, you need to go and get them. Otherwise, you cannot finish the game. Um... If you have the DLC, that map that um, Katarina gives you will literally tell you where all the locations are if you don't have the viewpoints. Besides that, you just have to manually go to each major area and look for the codex pages. That would be Florence, Venice, and Forley. What the? Oh, they're fighting up there. I was like, did someone drop a thing? Oh. I don't have... Wait. Did I never turn in the remaining codex pages I had? I didn't even know this. Apparently Leonardo shows up here if you uh, don't have all the codex. Oh, yeah. No shit. Leonardo. Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Ha-ha. You found another... Well, that's a little... Uh, <laughs> that's awkward. I Have I really been running around with not a full max? Is this an inverted Caesar shift? If I just substitute these letters here... I got it. Please don't tell me... I was rocking no full health until then. I am an idiot. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, that's a thing. I might as well go and pick up um, 
Oh, he's not even here now. Okay, well, I guess if you um, get far enough in the story, but you don't have all the codex pages, um, Leonardo will just show up here. So, if you want to get any more architect upgrades, if you need armor upgrades, if you need to go get the other assassin seals, by all means, do it now, because it is your last chance. I'm just showing off the armor room, or, well, the weapon room. I'm not planning on getting anything in here, but just want to show our fruits of our labor. You know, with all of our weaponry and our armor back over here that actually served us well. And yeah, oh, uh, there's the flying machine and the carriage. So there you go. Also, I think, if I remember right, I want to show this. Uh, where is it though? That's the thing. It's over here. Oh, uh, might as well give you some feathers. There you go. Yeah, over here. Little secret uh, attic we have up here. Not really a secret, it's wide open. All of the portraits of all of the Templars we have assassinated. Kinda cool. So there's your Ber uh, your Bo your Berto. You got a Vietti. I don't know your name. Francesco. The four dudes, or well, five dudes we assassinated way back when. Uh, Grimaldi, Sambanarola, the Orsi brothers, and you got some chests here too. There's Dante, or no, that's Silvio. Never mind. But yeah, I just wanted to show this because uh, they never make you come up here for anything, and uh, I've known about this since the very beginning. I just didn't want to show it because we had nothing in here, but that's why I never came in here. So, just wanted to show that off. But anyway, as I said, if you need to find the last codex pages, go and do that. Otherwise, get any of the armor, weapons. Uh, do I have all? Oh, I don't have full ammo. Uh, I'm actually going to do that. I need smoke bombs, but... Just make sure you are well equipped, because once you go into this final mission, there is no escaping. You cannot leave the final mission once you start it. And by extension, the last sequence. Because uh, the last sequence is only one mission. And it's the final one. So, just beware of all of that if you uh, if you wish to do this now. Uh, this is the wrong place. <laughs> it's you I need because your ammo. I should be fine though. Like, I have Altair's armor. I'm... Fully equipped. I might as well just get a full heal and all that, but... Yeah. Heal now. Then... Refill... That. I feel bad for never showing the poison, but... Seriously, poison is so useless in this game because you have to go up and stab them anyway. You might as well just kill them. Anyway. Oh, and also if you need the last special moves, such as the, um... Spear, heavy weapon, and, um sword special move then uh you might as well do that right now anyway let's uh let's get things rolling here i have come with a treat everybody um also let's put in the last one there we go plus a thousand jesus 30 out of 30 hello uncle mario it's you it is time uncle. Let us finish what you and my father started all those years ago. Indeed. Perhaps now we can finally make sense of this prophecy and put a stop to whatever it is the Spaniard is plotting. We should start by locating the vault. The Codex pages will lead us to it. Let's take a look. Okay, sorry about the weird cut, um, as per usual interruptions, but now we have a wall. Interact. Uh, or not, oh, interact with this. Now we interact with this. Yeah, you thought this was trivial? We have a puzzle to solve. I'm just gonna speed this up so you, don't, you guys don't have to watch all this.
is a map of the entire world. But there are lands shown here that do not exist. Apparently they do exist. I imagine they've yet to be discovered. Or rediscovered. How is this possible? Perhaps the vault will hold the answer. Do you see where it is then? No. It can't be. The vault. It looks like the vault is in Roma. Then the Spaniard. This is why he became Pope. Now I understand. It's not the vault alone he's gained access to, but the staff as well. What staff? The Codex always spoke of two keys. Two pieces of Eden needed to open the vault. One is the apple. And the other is the staff. The papal staff is the second piece of Eden. For years, no, decades, we've sought these answers. And now, at last, we have them. But so too could the Spaniard. And if he does, if he finds a way into the vault, its contents will make the apple seem a trifling thing. I must go to Roma and find the vault. What are the rest of you? We'll do what we do best. Cause some trouble in the city, giving you the freedom to conduct your search. Just let me know when you are ready, Nipote. There we go. Uh, this is now your second chance to go and finish any unfinished business you may have, but... Uh, why is there, like, two missions? Wait. Okay, I, I'm guessing that's towards, uh, Roma. We're going to Rome, baby. Going to Rome. Let's do it. Roma beckons, Ezio. Let me know when you are ready to depart. It'd be nice if he looked at me. We're doing it. Reconstruct the area for our playground. Roma, 1499. Now, unfortunately, you don't get to roam around here in Roma, despite the name. Uh, for those without context, uh, Roma was the Italian name for Rome, so that's why it's called Roma. It's kind of the same deal with uh, Venezia and uh, Firenze and all that. In Bocca al Lupo. Infiltrate the Sistine Chapel and assassinate Rodrigo Borgia the Spaniard. Yeah, so this is not a big open area, but this place is kind of cool. Got some Roman architect uh, architecture and stuff like that, so... For the art buffs, or I guess the architecture buffs out there, then... Oh, oh god. Well, you, you, you would uh, be glad to see this kind of stuff if I could actually see it. <laughs> and not jump into the wall uh, water like an idiot. Yeah, and despite it being the final mission, it is probably one of the easiest missions out there. I mean, seriously, there's you gotta be screwing around to mess it up. Jump up here, and just look at this place, man. It looks so cool. We got the Colosseum over there. Got a um, uh, the the oh god. I want to say that's for like judicial, because those are the same kind of buildings in America, for like um. Like House of Representatives and Judiciary Branch and stuff like that. I'm a criminal justice major. That's kind of why I know some of that stuff. Anyway. Head up here. Uh, it does not matter if you, got, uh, if you get seen here. So... But we are an assassin. After all. We. No one hears that, huh? Then again, this is... Like... Pretty much ancient Italy, so. Basilica di San Pietro. Alright, we can go up and assassinate these two at the same time. Sup, friends? Uh, what? I was going for the double assassinate, but you know what? Just to walk in front of them and stab them is sure fine. You don't have to play that stealthily, but we've been doing a lot of open combat, so I mean. I figured it was time to switch it up a notch, but we may not have a choice. Wait. Throwing knives. Throwing knives. Are they coming over here? No, they're not. Perfect. Boink. 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 Um, lock on. There we go. We, we never use the knives, so I, f I just figured to throw the knives. 
Uh, don't worry about your notoriety building up in here. You're never coming back, so... At least not in this instance. Get some throwing knives back. Uh, what are you... Oh, up here. There we go. Oh, hi. Boink. I didn't even know you were up here. You are a terrible guard, because you literally let those two guys get killed. But whatever. Uh-oh, don't fall off the thing. And now... I have an idea, but can I pull it off? I want to show off these poison knives, but I don't think I'll be able to, or the uh, poison uh, blades. I will keep I won't be caught now. There we go. You're part of my team. Ow. Ow. You're part of my team. Yeah, so these guys will kind of just flail randomly. Ow. Alright, bring it. Ow. Oh, come on. I'm blocking, man. Bring it. Bring it. At the same time, screw you both. Alright, you're screwed. And then... You're screwed. Yeah, so that's what the poison blades do. You stab a guy and they just start flailing wildly. I wish it was useful, but it really isn't. Um, you're still alive. Alright, well, you, you die a second time. They're really not useful because you have to walk up to them and stab them with it. So, like, what's the point when you could just go and stab them? Also, we've been discovered, unsurprisingly. Convenient there's a horse on top of a wall. All right, let's go. You're really gonna throw rocks on a guy. All right. Ah, why horsey? Get on the horsey, get on the horsey and run. Screw you. Dude, come on. No, get on the horsey. Oh, don't hurt my horse, you ass. All right, we're, we're just gonna run. You can get through that, but like, it's so weird. The way you have to fight on the horse is so awkward. It's just better just to run at this point. Uh, please don't throw rocks up here. Oh, God. I told you don't throw rocks up here, ass. There we go. Should still be fine. There we go. Again, weird cuts. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. What the crap? That gave him enough time to reload the rocks. All right, climb up. There we go. All right, deal with you. And you're an idiot. Ow. Bring it. Heavily, ar er, heavily armored archers. That's a first. Can I grab you? No. I'll just keep kicking you in the nuts over and over again. Boink. There we go. That's why I grabbed health. Into the hay bale. You saw nothing. <laughs> Alright. Gotta use our smoke bombs at some point. Boink. 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 Oh, I didn't kill you. Get out of here. Alright, and... Bring it. Boink. And then I can have some fun with you. Yeah, I can have some fun with you. You're going off the walls, buddy. Get out of here. Oh, that... Okay. Oh, right in the nuts. I'm sorry, bro. Give you a new hole. Uh, uh. I'm sorry for all the men. Uh, Jesus. That was... God, that made me feel uneasy. Anyway, we'll just run up here. Uh, you are a really dumb archer, you know that. A really dumb archer. And now we have the beauty of hay bales, which, why do you even need hay bales up here? Whatever. Into the, uh, stack. They're gonna turn right back around. Oh, no, they're not. 
Get in the stack. And wait for the second one. Hello. You are really deaf. I hope you know that, guard. Well, do that. You're dead now, but... Anyway, just hop up here. Loving the music. The music is awesome. Hello. And these guys are just trying to have a chat, but uh, I'm going to interrupt them. Hello. Boink. It's pretty much just testing all your abilities as an assassin. Just run up and stab people. Hi. This is why we have smoke bombs. Boink. Boink. Get rid of the big dudes. Boink. Oof. Alright, bring it. I'm taking one of your swords. Give me your spear. Oh, come on. Boink. Oh, really? You really just grabbed another spear? Oof. Oh, shish kebab. Alright, give me your spear again. This is what I was trying to do last time. Out of here. And we jump up here. This mission's kind of fun, because you just go around and kill a bunch of guards, so... No penalty in that whatsoever. Let's unlock this. And this is a pretty quick mission too, unfortunately. Now we got our combat out of the way, now we get our stealth on. So you will get desynced if you get seen, so be wary of that. But thanks to Paola, should be able to sneak in through here just fine. There's that. Alright, take him down. Open this up before people start screaming. I left that guard alive because I didn't feel like killing him. Hitting this crowd. And then that guy's gonna move up. He's gonna move over here. I don't know how that worked, but it did. Alright, we shouldn't have to deal with him now. We just gotta get past these guys. In which I could just stab this guy over here. And then sneak past these dudes. And they should be screaming over there, which will actually draw their attention back over there, so. And there we go. We're clear. Is this Latin? I'm guessing this is Latin. Capella Sestina. Uh... But don't even quote me on Latin, I know... I'm terrible with other languages, ironically enough. Like, when I had to take Spanish back in high school and in college, I... Ugh, ugh. I'm good at pronouncing things, but I am not good at remembering the meaning of things. It, it's, a, it's a bad combination. Anyway. It's a wonder I passed those classes. Alright, I've had enough. I don't even know what you're saying, buddy. I'm sorry. I, I have to put you down. I thought... I thought I was beyond this. But I'm not. I've waited too long. Lost too much. Requiescat in pace, you bastard. I don't think so. No! How is it you resist? I see. Kind of you to bring me the apple. 
Now give it here! Why have I the funnery? <laughs> Always the fighter. Just like your father. Well, rejoice, my child. For you will see him again soon. You will give it to me. As you wish. Fascinating. An impressive power, this. But if you think it's going to save you, another thing coming. We have multiple of us now, and you see why I change my color so often. Uh, it's not the same color. Actually, it might be the same color. Oh, Actually, the, the funny thing is, the best way to fight him is with your fists. Because he has no way to resist fists uh, besides that. Uh, but also, like, you can grab him? And let your uh, assassin doubles just stab him. Get! You cannot stop me. I mean, I don't. I don't need swords to fight you, buddy. Oh, I wonder if it actually is using the colors I used all this time ago. Because uh, like a couple of them I recognize, like the pure white one on our left, and then there's the uh, red one on our right. Uh, the other only other two we've used. Well, we've used the uh, bonus skin as well, so that might be the one on the far right. Boink, boink. Just throw you over here. You can use swords, but like he just blocks you. Man, you actually do a lot of damage. But yeah, he he'll resist the grab if you try to grab him with your sword. It's really just huddle him up in a corner and beat the crap out of him. Like, seriously. <laughs> he can kill your clones, so be careful of that. Uh, let's use the assassin. Uh, hidden blades. Oh, you can grab him with the assassin blades. Okay. Boink. Boink. Ow. And dodging works pretty good on him, too, so. Only bad thing is that he likes to repeat dialogue a lot. I don't think he says anything new besides that. Why is he just sitting there defending? I don't think he's hit them yet, actually. Also, I'm pretty sure smoke bombs don't work on him. So. Be wary of that. Ow. Ow. And he likes to stun walk. Ow. I'm trying to move over. Uh, let's go back to... Oh! I'm sorry, buddy. Get out of here. Ow. Kick him in the nuts. Fat old man. Ow. Wait, did I just grab my own clone? Piece of shit, get out of here. It killed my family. Ow. I'll cut you down first. Kick you in the nuts. Uh, what the piss? Yeah, weird how your fists are better for this than your actual weapons. Oh, nice. Nice assassin clone. Yeah, none of them died. No. You will not take this from me. It's finished, Rodrigo. Lay down your arms, and I will make sure the end comes swiftly. Really, Ezio? And would you give up so easily were it the other way around? Why don't we find out?
Is this the physical embodiment of pins and needles? I'm sorry for making that joke. I literally got stabbed in the ad abdomen and, uh, well, you know what? Here we are. Gotta make it entertaining somehow. Now, use our hidden ability. Target located. How is this hidden? I mean, I, I guess it makes more sense if it was in real life, because you would barely be able to see that. But still, kind of obvious. Two buttons opens up a sliding door. It's kind of like a Minecraft, almost. Bring it over here. With a really Predator 2-looking tomb. Seriously. Hello, Rodrigo. It's over, Rodrigo. No more tricks. No more ancient artifacts. No more weapons. Let us see what you are made of, old man. All right, then. If that's how you want to play it. And this is actually kind of a cool final boss fight. It's just you, you going toe-to-toe -to -toe -to -toe with the Pope. <laughs> I gotta stop throwing them. What do you think you'll do when you open that door? I don't care. It's not approval. I and you think you'll give it up? Get! The light beyond that wall won't be able to resist the staff and Atom. They were made for fairy gods. God is meant to be all-knowing, all-powerful. You think a couple of ancient relics can harm him? You know nothing, boy. You take your image of the creators of an ancient book. A book, mind you, written by men. If you are the Pope, and yet you dismiss the central text of your faith? <laughs> are you so naive? I became Pope because it gave me access. It gave me power. Uh, oh, oh, we're done. Uh, press square, press square, press, press square. I'm messing up my words. Choke him out. You can't. You can't. It's my destiny. Mine. I am the prophet. You never were. Get it over with, then. No. Healing you won't bring my family back. I'm done. Nulla è reale. Tutto è lecito. Requiescat in pace. For once we say that and we didn't actually kill him. Why don't we get 10,000 bucks for that? We can't even go back. Anyway. Let's see what uh, our destiny is fated for us. Others too. Juno, who was before called Uni, 
Jupiter, who was before called Tinia. saying makes sense. Our words are not meant for you. What are you talking about? There is no one else here. Enough. I do not wish to speak with you, but through you. You are the prophet. You've played your part. You anger him, but please be silent that we may commune. Listen. When we were still flesh, and our home still whole, your kind betrayed us. We who made you. We who gave you life. We were strong, but you were many, and both of us craved war. So busy were we with earthly concerns, we failed to notice the heavens. And by the time we did, the world burned until naught remained but ash. It should have ended then and there. But we built you in our own image. We built you to survive. And so we did. You were our numbers. Your kind and mine. It took sacrifice, strength, compassion. But we rebuilt. And as life returned to the world, we endeavored to ensure this tragedy would not be repeated. But now, we are dying, and time will work against us. Truth turned into myth and legend. What we built, misunderstood. Let my words preserve the message and make a record of our loss. But let my words also bring hope. You must find the other temples, built by those who knew to turn away from war. They worked to protect us to save us from the fire. If you can find them, if their work can be saved, so too might this world. Be quick, for time grows short, and guard against the cross, for there are many who will stand in your way. It is done. The message is delivered. We are gone now from this world. All of us. We can do no more. The rest is up to you, Desmond. What? Who is Desmond? I don't understand. Please, wait. I have so many questions. I did not realize it went straight to credits after that. Wow. Um, yeah. Um, I really wanted to be quiet there because I literally muted my mic so that I I could ensure there was no background noise and that that's an like integral cutscene. But uh, it's done. That's Assassin's Creed 2. Very abrupt ending. I really thought there was more after that. Uh, there might be more and also jackass car outside. Yeah. There's only about ten minutes until I Need get... Need all of my equipment ready to go before they do. Desmond! Yeah, yeah. All right, Sean, I need you and Rebecca to get everything in here packed up and loaded into the truck. You and I will deal with the Templars. What, they're here? It was only a matter of time before they discovered us. To be honest, I'm surprised it took them as long as it did. Let's go. Okay, I, I remembered correctly. It's just this is how they do the ending sequence. But uh, now we're apparently going to be fighting, and so why did he put it on my left arm? This place and then what? 
There's another safe house. It's, we've got company. Alrighty. The truck's just up ahead. So while this, I think we just kill people until the credits are done. So, um, oh, another cutscene. Mr. Miles, this is an unexpectedly pleasant turn of events, and here I thought I'd have to waste more men on you. Kind of you to save me the trouble. What do you want, Vidic? For you to come home. We miss you terribly. There's still so much work for us to do together. It's not happening, Warren. You continue to disappoint in every conceivable way, Miss Stillman. I saved your life once. Do you remember? And this is how you repay me? You saved me so you could keep experimenting on people, destroying their lives. And for what? Oh, this tired argument again. As I recall, you were there, at my side, Every step of the way, their blood is on your hands just as much as mine. You need to stop him. I'm on it. Let's do this. So now we can actually fight as Desmond, and we can kill as Desmond with the powers of Ezio. Uh, how long does it take? Oh, there we go. Yeah. So Des Desmond's pretty much a full, fl uh, fully fledged assassin. Let me see if I can counter. Ow. Oh, come on. There we go. I think he has his own animations too. Um, so while this is going on, I think we just kill people until, until the credits are done. Um, boink, boink, boink. So, I thoroughly enjoy this game. I forgot how good this game really is. I am really glad I got to play it again, like seriously. I love Let's Playing now because it gives me a reason to play games that I have played all the time before and uh, get some new experiences out of it. So, And uh, you guys make part of that uh, fun, fun, like seeing some comments. I, I mean, you know, I'm still very small at this moment in time, but I know at some point in the future, hopefully there'll be more people that will appreciate this at some point in time. But, um... Oh, what's going on over here? Are we done? Well, well. It seems Mr. Miles has learned to fight. Uh-oh, Doc. Looks like it's just you and me now. Enjoy your victory, Mr. Miles. Temporary as it is. Desmond, we have to go! There you are. Come on. Help Lucy into the van. Hurry, Desmond, we need to go! You'll have your turn, Desmond. Warren's gonna get what he deserves. I promise. So what now? Where are we headed? There's a cabin up north. We should be safe there. At least for a little while. I have to analyze those tapes from your session. Figure out what's happening. And then what? Here we go. I've got you all hooked up. Got a long drive ahead of us. Figured you might want to play around with the Animus on the way. All right, but I got some questions first. I mean, what the hell was that in the vault? What you saw proves everything I was afraid of. The Templars aren't our biggest threat. Not by a long shot. So what, the sun is? What's it gonna do, cook the Earth? I doubt it, but I don't know. There's been some speculation that the Earth's magnetic field is weakening. A sufficiently strong flare could flip the poles and cause a geomagnetic reversal. It's all theoretical, but if it happens, the planet could become geologically unstable. Very unstable. It's meant to be the stuff of pseudoscience, but clearly something catastrophic happened to the people of the first civilization. But that woman, was her name Minerva, was it? She seemed to think we were due for a second round. So either way, we're fucked. I don't know yet. We'll keep reviewing the tapes, and you can keep digging through your memories. Maybe there's more to discover. All right, so I better get started. There you go. As per usual, well, I've only done this twice now, but special thanks to all the people who are watching this during the lifetime of Assassin's Creed 2 and, well, afterwards for your support. At any point in time is vo uh, very appreciated, and I thank you very much for that. This is a very fun thing I love to do. Is a very good hobby 
to have. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad to do it. My other thanks go to, um, Redstone Warper. For he's always supported me during these Let's Plays since the beginning of the daily uploads. Well, semi-daily. I skip every Sunday, but... I do thank him. His channel will be in the description below if you are interested in Minecraft stuff. And I would also like to thank Dave for uh, he's the reason that this Let's Play exists now. Same with Pikmin and Devil May Cry, but he is the one who gifted me the capture card that allows me to record this content. So I do thank him as well. Um, he has a very, very cool TikTok going on right now so i'll put his tiktok in the description below and yeah i'm <laughs> i do think this is my favorite assassin's creed it's not the first one i ever played uh i don't i think the first one i played was assassin's creed 3 but assassin's creed 2 has so much story it's the one that kicked off how the old assassin's creed used to be and it's the pretty much the reason why it still exists now. I very much love this game and I am glad that I was able to cover it on this channel for how long I wanted to cover it. So, anyway, I thank you guys again for watching those during the lifespan and those afterwards. And, uh, yeah, I'll leave you to the credits and next time we may be delving deeper into the physiological or philosophical that's the right word <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next time we play something else take care